If you're one of those people who think that, you know, layering fragrances is a sin and I'm killing the perfume, now's your time to click out of this video because it's a layering one. Yeah. What's well, going on people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, a special welcome to you as well. I do hope you stick around and subscribe. As you can see from the title, a layering video, yes. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Welcome back my pebbles. Listen, every time I mention a layering combo in one of my videos, someone is like, can we get a layering video please? And I'm like, you know what? Christmas has just gone and I'm still in the giving mood. So, you know, here you go, guys. I'm finally filming my layering video. So, yeah. So, about these combos, some you might be hearing from me for the first time and others you might hear from other content creators as well because, you know, we're all humans. We think alike sometimes, if that makes sense. I'm not saying I came up with all of these layering combos on my own. Some of them are actually from you lot, but you know, I'm a whole chemist, uh, hey? And I like mixing and I like testing, yeah? Yeah. Answering a couple questions before I jump into it. How do I know what goes with what? Okay, hear me out. Sometimes you spray fragrance and you're like, ooh, I wonder what you would smell like if I added. You get me? So then you'd find that fragrance that has that and then layer them together. Does that make sense? Listen, it's trial and error. Sometimes there's no logics behind it. I just grab and spray. And as the saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. Next question asks, how do you spray as in the placement? Again, there's no rule, trial and error. But what seems to work for me, I kind of do a mixture of everything, but what I like to do as well is like alternative sprays. So fragrance one would go here, then fragrance two, then fragrance one again, then fragrance two. So that you know when I walk past you, you get this waft of the two fragrance in their glorious unison. Sometimes you can just spray the fragrances on top. So if you spray fragrance one here, spray fragrance two on top of it. Make sense? Yes. And the last question is how many sprays do you actually do? Okay, again, down to personal preference, it's down to you, yeah? How many sprays you want to do, just go with it. I'm an over-sprayer, so I spray a lot, a lot. So for my layering combos, there's a lot of booziness, there's a lot of vanilla, and there's a lot of cherry. My main layering fragrances are Lost Cherry by Tom Ford and Born in Roma by Valentino, especially this one. Oh my God, this is a beautiful standalone fragrance, but an even better layering fragrance, yeah? Yeah. So for my first layering combo, I layer Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent by Born in Roma by Valentino. Both of these fragrances are ambery vanilla floral fragrance. They both share notes of pink pepper, jasmine, cashmere, and vanilla. The bourbon vanilla in here is mixing with the coffee that's in here, and it's giving me this creamy vanilla latte type of vibe. And the patchouli in Black Opium is keeping the fruity sweetness from Borning Roma under wraps. I normally put the Black Opium down first, then the Borning Roma on top. Incredible. Next up, we have Rose Prick by Tom Ford and Yara by La Taffa. I did speak about this layering combo briefly in my latest autumn video, but yes, this is just a spicy, dry, sexy rose type of scent. It's a unique take on the rose note. And I mean, sometimes you're like, not everyday spicy rose, do you know what I mean? Sometime creamy rose. And I did say that the perfect pairing for this is Vanille Fatal by Tom Ford as well, but I don't have that, so I just use any vanilla fragrance. And my pairing for it is Yara, because this to me is just a fluffy vanilla Chantilly cake type of scent. And what this does is tone down the rose in here and makes it more creamy and smooth. And then it tones down the spiciness as well. So what I do, rose prick first, Yara on top, fabulous. Next up we have Born in Roma by Valentino, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford and Ebony Wood by Zara. Sorry, I mixed these three last, no not last year, late 2021 and oh my god, I shocked myself. The dark ebony wood and the spicy cloves goes well with the boozy cherry that's in here. 
there's a cinnamon accord in ebony wood and there's a cinnamon note in lost cherry these two go well together and then you just top it off with some bourbon vanilla i'm just out here walking around smelling like a boozy bakewell cherry tart with like flaked almonds and cinnamon so for the layering combo i put ebony wood down first then lost cherry and then i put born in roma on top phenomenal Next up, we have a Zara combo. We have Rich Warm Addictive and Cherry Smoothie. This layering combo is not mine. A subscriber, Michaela. Hey girl, she mentioned this to me in my comment section. And listen, the boozy rum toned down the waxy accord that I got in Cherry Smoothie. Then the coconut in hair walks hand in hand with the almond that's in hair, you know, just to amplify the nutty accord. Then it all settles into this boozy, honeyed, cherry nutty sensation i put cherry smoothie down first then rich warm addictive on top spectacular next up we have jazz club layered with lost cherry by tom ford listen this is just sheer coincidence because i was at home i think it was back in august and i was looking at um autumn fragrances when i had not even filmed my summer list i know typical then i said to myself would these two smell good together <coughs> spoiler they do they are both breezy fragrances and somehow the lost cherry picked up on the tobacco note from the jazz club and then they just infused to be this warm spicy smoky intoxicated cherry bomb yes jazz club down first and then lost cherry on top sensational for the next combo, we have Red Temptation by Zara and Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. This is a weird one because I started off the day with my scent of the day being Red Temptation. And then I went out, you know, later on in the evening and my scent of the evening was Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. So I'm going through, you know, my evening and I kept smelling this burnt sugar coming through my boozy cherry. And I was like, it smells good, but what's going on? Because I remember just wearing Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. But when I clocked, it was my coat because we know that Zara fragrances last longer on clothes than they do skin. So Red Temptation had lingered on my coat and then I put this one on top. Luscious. Next up, we have Insomnia by Fabio Seferi layered with Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Now this, this fragrance is a beast. This is a dark chocolate, caramel, rum, vanilla, coffee type of fragrance. Again, they both have booze in, you know, and it's a smooth booze. But the bitter chocolate in here merges with the cherry in here and it turns it darker and a tad bit sweeter. You know, the darker the cherry, the sweeter the juice. Yes. All that mixed in, along with the creamy vanilla and almond, oh my god. Think about the chocolate cherry baileys. Yes. These two together, they're like a sweet and seductive type of fragrance with like a silky smooth texture and a rich depth of flavour. Mmm, lord have mercy. Insomnia down first, lost cherry on top, mouth watering. Next up, we have Lanoui Tressel Intense layered with Lost Cherry. Listen, I told you, Lost Cherry by Tom Ford and Born in Roma by Valentino are my two top layering fragrances. They layer well with everything, okay? Everything. Both are beautiful, cherry, nutty, vanilla fragrance, but this has booze and this has like a tart cherry, but somehow they, you know, balance out each other, if that makes sense. So you get like a tart cherry to start that mellows out into a boozy cherry with a creamy vanilla dry down. Lanoui Tressel down first and then Lost Cherry on top. Yummy. Next up, we have Golden Decade layered with Into the Night by Bath and Body Works. Listen, I've been layering these two for years, but it hasn't always been Golden Decade. I've been doing it with Libre. But as we all know, Golden Decade is a dupe for Libre, but you know, Libre Intense. But this is so much better already done a review on this fragrance yeah i'll leave it up here for you to watch and in my description box below for me golden decade is just this warm ambery lavender fragrance you know and it has this warmth in the dry down and when you spray this on top it just gives it this brightness and then just some earthy patchouli 
yes so golden decade down first this on top amazing next up we have golden decade layered with just club listen i only layered these for the color just look at the color listen it's just something about these golden ambery scented waters during autumn and winter that gets me going okay yes but what a divine combo these two are. Listen, I wore this to a brunch back in December. Compliments non-stop. From my Uber driver that parked up on the side of the road to go pee, to Lammy that hugged me when I walked into the brunch. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. And you know what? I always walk with a two mil vial of my layering combo, just in case, you know, if and when I need to top up or whatever, but I can 100% guarantee you that I'm not coming home with it because someone is going to be like, oh my God, you smell amazing. And it was like, oh yeah, it's this. They're going to take it off me. Yeah. Trust me. I mean, this might sound weird to you, but think about a boozy lavender, ambery vanilla fragrance. Listen, if you have these two, just try it. I normally put Golden Decade down first and then Jazz Club on top. Scrumptious. And if you're thinking to yourself, raw, her golden decade is almost done. Don't watch that. Girl got a full bottle of hair, yeah? Backups on backups on backups. Don't watch me. Watch yourself. Don't watch me. Watch yourself. My next layering combo is Lanary Tresor Intense layered with Jazz Club. Listen, I wanted to wear this one because of the color of my coat is burgundy. I know, I'm weird. Sue me, I want to wear my scent of the day that matches my coat. Hear me out, you do get the Lanary Tresor DNA in here, you know, with the added tart cherry. But then this on top, it just adds this smoky facet from the tobacco and booze. Yes, Lanary Tresor down first and then this on top, amazing. Next up, we have Autumn Vibes layered with Jazz Club. This isn't my layering combo, this is James's. And I don't know if he did it on purpose or what, but if you watched my vlog, you can tell that I was completely shocked that he actually chose these two to wear because his scent of the day was originally going to be Autumn Vibes, but then I brought this out, you know, because we both love it. And yeah, he layered these two and he smelled damn good damn good we all know that the replica fragrances smell like what they say on the bottle yeah so autumn vibes smells like you know you're walking through a forest you're walking on brown and red leaves you know and you're walking through the mud because it was raining the day before and then with the jazz club on top it just adds this smoky facet from the tobacco with a boozy undertone he added autumn vibes yes he added autumn vibes first jazz club on top great next up we have camera by latafa layered with la belle by jean paul gautier listen this was just a mistake because this was my scent of the day for christmas jumper day and then a couple days down the line shy was like all right i have to wear a christmas jumper to work as well and i was like do you want me to spray some fragrance on there and she's like okay shy doesn't really care about fragrances so i layered this on top and i was like listen you smell good and she came home and she goes you did it again and i was like did what she goes bare people was telling me how amazing i smell and she's like people were actually asking her what she was wearing and bless her heart shia didn't know so i had to screenshot the pictures and the names and i sent them to her she went back to work and she was like yo guys this is what i was wearing as most may know what this smells like you know it's like the pear and the vanilla type of fragrance yes i always say it's like a dessert that you've been yearning for after being on a diet for a day yes but when layered with this it brings out more of the apple cinnamon side so just think about a spicy when i say spicy think about cinnamon think about a spicy stewed apple and pear pie does that make sense with like a boozy undertone these two together scrumdilious Next up, we have Camera layered with Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Listen, it's like you took the dates from here, the cherry from here, and you pop them into a pan and then the booze from both, you just poured on top and you just let that sit, yeah? Just think about the dates and the cherry combining and you get this deep, dark cherry and caramelized dates coming together with booze on top, oh my God. I would put Camera down first and then Lost Cherry on top. 
yummy. Next up, we have Launter de Rouge laid with La Belle Le Parfum. Another mistake, okay? Because I was telling you guys that I was torn between this and the Black Bottle, the Intense, and I was just testing them. And then on the day I was testing this, I had received this one in the mail. Not realizing I sprayed La Belle on top of this that I was testing. And for the rest of the day, I was like, what is this intoxicating scent? It's like the pear and the roasted tonka beans that's in here mixed with the other notes in here. And I was like, hello, who is this please? Listen, if you have these two, boss bitch, do this. Layer these two together. And finally, closing the show, I don't even know how many fragrance layering combos I just gave you guys. Listen, I'm just, I'm just going off on a tangent, yeah? I'm <laughs> but closing the show, we have Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Listen, first edition, okay? I'm telling you before reformulation, I'm telling you black bottle, I'm telling you limited edition, I'm telling you not many people in the world still have this. I'm, I'm just grateful to have it, yeah? But this, layered with luxury rouge oh my god nuclear you hear me nuclear just think about a creamy white floral marshmallow scrumptiousness most of you on here might know what love don't be shy by killian smells like and if you don't listen i got you i got you i will leave it up here for you to watch and in my description box below as well and the same for luxury rouge yeah I got reviews for both of them. I got you, babe. I got you. The caramel covered marshmallow tones down the spiciness in hair. And then the tuberose then gets sweetened by the sugar. And then it pairs well with the orange blossom that's in hair. The most beautiful balance between sweet and spicy with creamy florals, along with a gorgeous caramelized marshmallow dry down. Oh my god remarkable i would put love don't be shy down first and then this one on top these two are like powerhouses yeah so you remember earlier when i was saying if there's two heavy hitters fragrance you know what goes where and how much do you spray so for me these two are heavy hitters so i'd normally go in with like 10 sprays of the i should i should really cherish this I need to find me a good dupe. So, 10 sprays of Love Don't Be Shy and then I'd go in with like five sprays of Luxury Rouge. And for those that don't know, Luxury Rouge is a dupe for Rouge Malekite by Giorgio Armani. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, there you have it, my loves. Those are some of the layering combos that I really enjoy doing, some more than others. <laughs> Well, this is where I say my goodbyes, my loves. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. But before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Comment down below, you know what? Tell me a layering combo that you like. Yeah, T tell me one that you think I should try out. And tell me what you think about mine, because you know, let me know. Give me feedback. What do you think about some of my layering combos? Hmm? <laughs> share this video with a mate don't forget to subscribe before you go and i guess i'll see you in my next video bye